Hey everyone, it's Mina, and today in this video I'm going to be doing a movies I could watch over and over again and still love video. Video. I already did a movies I regret seeing video, and if you guys want to see that, that'll be linked in the description box down below. And I, and by the way, I, these movies that I will be mentioning um, in this video will prob will have a, probably either have a movie review up or don't have a movie review. We'll have a movie review later on. On, and this is just me talking about movies that I saw and I still love and that I saw like years ago. Okay, so this is going to be a video of me talking about movies that I absolutely love and I could watch over and over again and never get tired of. And this and these are just movies that I probably that I like either saw and loved when I was a kid, loved when I was younger. And stuff stuff like that. And I um do have Okay, sorry. Yeah, so this is just me talking about random movies. And sorry I'm talking really fast. I want to make this really fast just so I can get to the video. And if you guys don't like any of these movies, then that's totally okay. Because, like I always say, we're all entitled to our own opinion. So, I'm going to get started. The first movie that I could watch over and over again is Beauty and the Beast. The reason I could watch that one over again because I love the story and the artwork. And if you guys want to see the movie review to that one, uh, it will be linked down below. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why I'm apolo- if you saw that and wondering why I'm apologizing at the beginning of the video, it's because my camera cut off because I forgot to remove some stuff I had on there, and that's why I'm apologizing at the beginning of the video. Anyway, the reason I could watch Beauty and the Beast over and over again because it has a great story, good characters, wonderful songs, and an awesome artwork. The artwork is gorgeous, and... Gorgeous, and I love how they did everything in that movie. It's really cool. And then the next film that I could watch over and over again and still love is Sleeping Beauty. I don't know. I love Sleeping Beauty so much. I just love the story. It's got a good plot, again, and it's got wonderful songs, and I do love things that have wonderful songs. The next one I could watch over and over again is one that a lot of you probably have heard of, probably not, is Cats Don't Dance. Yes, I used to drive my parents insane with that movie when I went through chemo. Well, they liked it when I first showed it to them, but then I started watching it so much they probably don't really like it anymore. But I still really like it. I actually just recently watched it this month for, like, the first time in, like, six or seven years. Years, and I'm really excited to review it. Review it, but I'm not, I don't have a re movie review up yet, but I'm not going to review it right now because that would take too long. But I will have a movie review up later in on in May. May, because the reason I love Cats Don't Dance so much is because it's got a good story, cute little fuzzy animals, which I'm drawn to, and another th another thing I like about it is the songs, and it's got a good story and plot and setting. It's just a great film. Film, and I love it because it also has a little history of like Hollywood too. Whoops. <laughs> it also has like a little history of Hollywood, which is nice because it shows like old actors and old films. And I'll go through it in another video. And video. Uh, yeah, I'll just go through it in another video because I don't want this to be too long. Okay, so the next film I could watch is another one that I have a review of. Actually, I have a review of it and its sequel both at the same time in the same video. And I actually two want two reviews, and those will be linked down below. And it is the Rescuers. The reason I could watch the Rescuers over and over again is because it's got a good story, cute little fuzzy animals, and it's really it still makes me laugh. The next one is one that a lot of have probably heard of, and probably not is the Rescuers sequel, The Rescuers Down Under. I don't know. I used to drive people insane with that film, but I still love it today, and I watched it like. For the first time last year in like probably, um, I think five or six, five or four years? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I loved it when I was about 14 years old, but I'm old and then I stopped watching it and then I like it get again. I still really like it today. Um, the movie review to those two films will be linked down below as well. The next one that I could watch over and over again is Cinderella. And Cinderella is one of my favorite Disney movies. I loved it when I was a little girl, and I still love it today. 
because it's cute and it's got little animal and again it's got fuzzy little animals and it's got a good story and I love fairy tales and um, fairy tales are like my favorite thing ever another one is the Lion King the thing well actually my mom and my sister and I all could watch the Lion King over and over again because it has a good story good songs and a great plot oh uh, I mean great background sorry all right, it's just we all could watch it over and over again. My sister and I used to watch it so much when we were little, and we still watch it today. Okay, it's one that we could that we could play over and over again. Another one that I could watch over and over again and still love is Bambi. Well, the reason I love that Bambi so much is because it's got a good story, good plot, cute little fuzzy animals, and it's got like gorgeous artwork. I love how they did the artwork in Bambi. They did it with like photography and stained glass, and if you guys want, and yes, and the reason you can, and if you want to see how they did that, you can see it if you have the 1997 Bambi VHS, or you, or uh, if sorry, if you have, um, or you can also find it on YouTube as well. They also have making of videos on YouTube. Another one that I could watch over and over again and still love is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I don't know why, even though Snow White's voice kind of reminds me of me when I was like probably like seven or six when I talk in a squeaky voice, which is kind of embarrassing, but I'm embarrassing and I don't want to talk about that. So anyway, the, she kind of reminds me of me when I was a kid because I talk in a squeaky high voice and it was really embarrassing. And she was like, she just reminded, even though her voice reminds me of me when I was a kid, I just love the story. Good plot, cute little songs, and cute fuzzy animals, which I, which a lot of you probably can tell that I love anything that has cute little fuzzy animals in it. It's just a great story, and it was the first film that was ever made by Walt Disney, and I just think it's one of the best. Another one would have to be, this is not a Disney movie, just so you guys know, it's, um, Thumbelina, and Cast No Dance is, a, is not a Disney movie either. Um... And Thumbelina. I loved Thumbelina when I was a little girl, and I still love it today. It's just so cute. Cute. It's got cute little songs and a great story. I just love anything that has a good story. Story and a good, and just good characters. The next one would have to be one that I've redone so many times is... Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I don't know. I just find Who Framed Roger Rabbit funny. I mean, I saw it as a kid, but I didn't really understand it when I was little. But after seeing it with the commentary, I finally understood what was going on in the movie. movie. It's just a good film. It's funny. It's got good cartoon humor. It's got a lot of, um... It's got a lot of good jokes, too. And, like, a lot of cartoons that you probably... Characters you probably know from your childhood. And if you guys want to see the movie review, to the, that one, well, I have two up, and I'll just link them both down below. Another one I could watch over and over again is one that I just recently saw last month, and, and it is the movie Frozen. Frozen, and I will have the movie, re and I do have a video of me singing a song from the movie, and I will link it down below. As I'm, I'm not going to link it down below. I'm going to link it when I do my movie review. I will link it in my movie review, and I will link my movie review down below when I do the movie review. It's because, also, that one has a good story, good songs, and just a, and just great characters. I just love all the characters. Another one would have to be Happy Feet. Feet. I love Happy Feet. It's cute. It's got singing, and I, as you guys can tell, I'm kind of most, I'm kind of obsessed with movies that have singing in them. You know, it's got great singing and it's got good story too. Too, and it has a good message. And a lot of these, some of these films do have a good message. And this, this some um, Happy Feet has a very good message. Message for everyone. And I don't want to give out the message for those who haven't seen it. Um, another one I could watch over and over again and still love is Iron Giant. I haven't seen Iron Giant in probably like six or seven years. In like six or seven years, I think. I don't know. Um, but it's such a great film. It's um, fun. It's um, got a great story, and 
And it's got good characters as well. I just love all the characters in that movie. Movie, and it's a great family adventure film. Another one that I still love and I've seen like probably 10 billion times is The Princess Bride. It's got, an, again, good story, great characters, and just like wonderful adventure and stuff. I love anything that has a good adventure too. I forgot to mention that. That because, I don't know, it just makes the story just more exciting. Another one that I could watch over and over again and still love is The Aristocats. I used to love, I was slightly, I loved that movie when I was a little girl. Girl, and I still love it so much today. Because it's just the story and the song. It's got cute songs and a lot of jazz music. I usually don't like jazz that much. The same thing with Cats Don't, and speaking of jazz, that's what's in Cats Don't Dance as well. But um, I usually don't really like jazz that much, but it's just a fun jazz, but jazz. And I really don't like jazz that much because, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I do like some stuff, but jazz sometimes seems really, seems really sad to me. But I just think it's um, just depressing. But I think all the so jazz music and Cats Don't Dance and the, what's it, and Aristocats was really fun. Okay, sorry about that. That was a little bit long. While this movie review is getting long, I'm gonna go by. I'm trying to go by this really fast. Another one I could watch over and over again and still love is *The Princess and the Frog*. Again, good story, great music, wonderful songs. I just love that movie so much. Oh yeah, my *Aristocats* review will be linked down below as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Another one I could watch over and over again and still love is *Aladdin*. I don't know, Aladdin has a great, again, Aladdin has a good story, good plot, wonderful songs, and great characters. A lot of the characters in the movie crack me up. I don't know why. And I do love the animation, too. Too, it's really, I love how they did every single bit of it in the, bit of it in the movie, because they did it, so most of it, I think, with computer animation. Another one that I could watch over and over again and still love is Dumbo. <laughs> I don't know the I don't know why the name Dumbo always makes me laugh. Sorry. I could still watch Dumbo over and over again because again, good story, wonderful characters, and just a great plot. Hot. I just love it so much. Another one, this is gonna be my last one, I promise, and this and I'm sorry this video is getting so long. Another one would have to be Mulan, because Mulan has, like, a good message that girls can do anything. Like, um, I don't want to get into too much detail because this video is already getting long. Like, girls can do anything, like, go and fight in a war or do a lot of stuff boys can, can do. And I just love, like, how Mulan, the characters are in the movie, and I do love all the songs. It's just got a great story and stuff. And if you want to see the video, Me Singing Reflection, that'll be linked down below. And sorry I'm talking really fast again. So that was my movies I could watch over and over again and still love. So again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!